Good day, Tesla fans. My name is John, and welcome to my why. In this video, we're going to be doing uh, the first of what is uh, to be many improvements to the Model Y, uh, things that are of interest to me and things that are available. Uh, first one is going to be the battery. For those of you that are interested in our upcoming videos, this is what we have on tap. A 2.0 center console, a steering wheel with heat, pedestrian warning speaker, left and right hand front dual pane glass. Uh, it's all been ordered and uh, we're just waiting for delivery, which should be sometime next week on most of this stuff. And we'll have a video uh, that can help you with DIY this if you're interested in keeping your Tesla Model Y current. Over here, it's a 2020. Uh, it, is, uh, it was delivered over the summer and uh, it's been a great vehicle and uh, I already have over 10,000 miles on it. It's the old center console. It's single pane window glass here. I do have uh, winter wheels and tires on from T Sport line. Uh, these are the Pirelli Soda 03s. They've been great in Michigan winter. My garage is filthy and there's my wall charger right there. So what we're gonna be doing today, is diving into this battery and I'll unbox it here, and uh, then we'll move through the steps. Okay, when we pop the box open, this is what we see. Uh, we have these two sleeves that are gonna go on the top of the battery when we put it in. We have a little warranty information. Protective cover. And then the battery itself with a little carry handle. And this thing is light as can be. We're switching over to uh, lithium ion 12 volt. Uh, it's something that's been available in the market for a little bit of time. There are some, there are installed videos out there for uh, anyone that's interested, but I thought I'd do a little step-by-step -step of someone with a Y that I haven't seen before. And I've uh, seen a couple three videos, but uh, nothing yet on the Y. So we ordered this one. It is particular to the Y. And so make sure you pay attention to that. All right, well, let's get started with step one. All right, so let's do the first couple steps. First thing we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna come in here and we are gonna open that frunk. Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna lower all the windows. And they are down. Next up, it says to open both rear doors. We're just gonna open all the doors. Couple more things here. We are going to power off the climate control. I'm going to unplug the vehicle from the charger. Now we're gonna go here, safety and security, and power off. Next up, we have to remove this underhood apron here, and it just pops off. These clips right here, we'll just make sure that they stay in place and that they're all there for reassembly. It does not take a lot of force to remove it or to put it back, and so we'll get that out of the way. And there's the battery that we're going for in the Model Y. In the Model 3, you have to remove this ductwork here. But in the Model Y, it looks easily accessible. Next step is to remove the 12 volt ground and set it aside. And after that, we'll move over and disconnect the high voltage line. But here, all you need is a 12 millimeter wrench right on here. You'll be able to loosen that up and pull it off and then cover it with some kind of insulating material to make sure it doesn't touch any other metal surfaces. The next step on the Model Y is to remove this strap that goes over the top of the battery to hold it in place. And it's really simple. Everything here is 12 millimeter. So you just unscrew this. Start with your 12 millimeter wrench, push it down. That bolt will come right out. Set that down here. 
And then this just simply lifts out of the way and it hooks under it. It has a little bit of a tension bar there. And then this piece can stay in. You can just set it back here. It's not going anywhere. And then the battery is unhooked, 12 volt ground disconnected, strap removed, positive is still connected, and now we need to go over and disconnect uh, the high voltage line. So here's another fun tidbit that's a little different uh, than it is on the Model 3, and that is the seat. Here there are no little levers to pull, and you literally just put your hand under there and give it a little tug, and then the seat will slide out. It's a little challenging to do it with one hand, but here we go. We do have some connections on here, so be careful. We'll set that there. Also, what you'll see is there are no foam pieces that there are in the three underneath the seat. And this guy is what we're looking for. So we're gonna disconnect him. Over here, you see you don't need to touch anything that's orange. I see we got some straps here. We, it's really basic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this. So you push that little clip in, push it forward, push it down. And we're gonna pull that out. And there she is, disconnected. We're gonna give this two minutes to discharge and then we're gonna come back, remove the positive side of the battery and then do the swap and reverse the process. All right, next up, two minutes later, we are going to just remove this 12 uh, millimeter bolt, uh, just loosen it enough that we can slide off this post. I'm gonna wrap it in a uh, little towel here and tuck it aside over here and then uh, remove the battery and I'll be back with you in one second. Okay, I got that uh, removed. I have it wrapped up here in this towel. Negatives wrapped up, tucked over here in this towel. The last step before you remove the battery is just to remove this vent tube right here. Uh, it pulls right out of the battery and uh, we won't be needing this in the future because those lithium ion uh, batteries do not need to vent. So we're just gonna tuck this aside. I'll make sure it's tidy. And, uh, and uh, so let me get this battery out of here. All right, so I just yanked that battery out. Give you a little look of what it looks like down here. A little tray. There's the back side of that strap. We're all tucked away here with both terminals and we're gonna get this battery, this big old heavy thing, <clears throat> out of here. And we're gonna replace it with that beauty. Hand cook batteries. So here we go one more time. This one's nice and easy because it's so light. Just gonna drop it right in there, put the handle down. I'll get this centered in place and then uh, arrange the strap. Next thing we're gonna be doing is pulling these caps off and getting the sleeves on. Off camera, I just reattached, rehooked this uh, strap on here and now we're just gonna tighten down this 12 millimeter bolt eventually secure the battery and make sure it doesn't shake or move around when we try. Be right back once it's tightened down. Okay, this strap is tightened down. Battery is not going anywhere. So now it's time to remove these two caps and put the sleeves on and we'll start connecting power. Okay, now we're going to install these little sleeves. One is bigger than the other, and they are tapered from top to bottom to fit over these posts. The positive post is bigger than the negative post, so we're going to start put the positive post sleeve on first, and we'll make sure it's pushed all the way down so it's flush on top, which it is. Then we're going to take the negative sleeve, 
length and we're just going to push slide that puppy on and push it down okay next up i'm going to reconnect the positive terminal and then i'm going to connect the high voltage connector and then come back and do the negative or the ground so be right back with you okay positives connected up tighten down negative still waiting let's go over here connect the high voltage terminal Okay, we're just going to slide this on here. Make sure it push down, and we're going to pull a clip up, and it is tight and in place. Come back over to the front. We're just going to connect that negative battery terminal, and then we will put this buddy back together and see what we got. Okay, positive and negative battery terminals are connected. Battery's tight good lights came back on let's see what we got here screen is off all good here let's see what we need to do to get her turned back on then I'll put this cover back on and be ready to go all right, so the screen booted back up all by itself. I didn't have to touch a thing. Lights on the inside are back on. It looks like we are in business. So I'm gonna slide that uh, seat cushion back on and pop it back in. You know, on the, on the Y, just so you can see, there's a bar here, it's a round bar. And that pops right into the styrofoam of the seat under here. See where that bar just slips right in there. And, uh, Piece of cake, really. Just gotta make sure you adjust these, and then I just recommend checking your little fabric fasteners here and make sure that they don't slide off when you're removing the seat and replacing it. Okay, we're seats all tucked back in. Piece of cake. Literally just pops in and out. Easier than most that I've seen. Now we're gonna toss this guy back in. I'm going to set them up here nice and gentle. Make sure we understand where our little clips have to sit. That we got them in the right place before we start applying any pressure. And then we just apply really gentle pressure to get it to pop in. Just work your way around, nice and easy. Like I said, you'll know when you got them. Nothing too heavy. See, so we got this guy, I just wanna make sure he's sitting in there nice. And he is. test here. We are all buttoned up. Let's grab my trash. Well, final step would be if the windows roll up, the thing will go in gear. We'll do that next. All right, so here we go. Let's shut the frunk. Nice and gentle. Get over here, try the windows. Beautiful. They are wet. Perfect. Back ones are good. Let's see the front. Perfect. Beautiful. Of 
Looks like we're all ready here. And it works. Well, thanks guys for joining me for this video. Uh, I hope it helps uh, for some of you that are thinking about switching over to the lithium ion battery. It, it is quite a bit of weight savings. I'm not sure it's gonna be all that noticeable. You know, some folks claim better audio quality and less uh, range loss when idle. Uh, but, you know, I'll leave it uh, to you to make that decision for yourself. However, if anyone with a Model Y wants to pick up a second or spare uh, stock battery, uh, I have one for you. Uh, so uh, send me a message or leave a comment below and uh, I'll help you with that. Also, uh, I know this is my first video and it's probably looking pretty rough uh, to many of you uh, who are used to super high quality. Um, I'll be getting better, but um, I do have a whole bunch of parts ordered that I, I do want to share with the DIY community and those of you that are thinking about doing some of these upgrades yourself. I've always wanted this kind of content when I've been trying to do stuff myself and, um, you know, it's just not out there. So uh, I also have an unplugged performance luxury coilover suspension coming. I forgot to mention that earlier. That should be here in April. And so uh, I'm going to do that install and, and we'll definitely put that up on this channel too for those of you that are thinking about it on the Model Y. Uh, again, not a lot of content out there on the Y. So hoping for more and uh, hoping to help everyone out. Thanks so much.